What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Auto Switcher mod for Minecraft 1.5.2. Now the Auto Switcher mod isn't a very well known mod, so I'm just going to quickly go over what it does. So the Auto Switcher mod is basically a Minecraft mod that when you're mining um, and you've got tools in your hotbar, it's just a selection of tools, whenever you click on a um, block and you've just, say you've just got, you're holding dirt at the moment, um, it'll switch to the appropriate tool which one's faster or you can um, actually configure it so it selects the slowest tool or the tool that um, has silk touch or the tool that has fortune or whatever you want um, or when you're attacking a player on a server and you're holding a bow it'll switch to your sword automatically and once you're finished clicking it'll also automatically switch back to your bow so that's basically what the auto switch mod does so to install a mod you're going to need to have minecraft forge the link will be in the description You'll need the auto switcher mod, the lo link will also be in the description, and the Bombazin API. Hang on, the Bombazin? The Bombazin. The Bombazin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, yeah, you'll need also need that. Those links will all be in the description. So the first thing you'll need to do is open up your Minecraft, and you're going to need to click Options, Force Update, and make sure that it says World Force. And so I'll quickly just type in my username and password. And so I'm going to log in, and it should download a new um, a new jar. And so this new jar will make ensure that your mods will work perfectly, and there'll be no problems. So while that's downloading, we're just going to skip that. Okay, so uh, we have generated a new Minecraft jar. So we're going to need to close Minecraft. That's especially important; otherwise, the mods will not install. So make sure your Minecraft jar is closed. Sorry about that, I just skipped ahead. So you're going to need to go into your start menu, just like this, the bottom left hand corner, the uh, Windows icon, start menu. Go to search programs and programs and files, and you're going to need to go percent, app, data, percent. Press enter, and up the top you'll see dot Minecraft. You're going to need to open that. Go into bin, right click on Minecraft, and it should have a little jar symbol beside it. Java symbol, I should say, and um, you're gonna need to open open it with WinRAR. So obviously you'll need WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip to install these mods. So we're using WinRAR. It's gonna need to close that. Let's drag this over the side. We don't need that bin thing open anymore. Delete meta inf, which is the file just down there. Meta inf will ma if you don't delete meta inf, um, your mods will not install correctly and you'll get a black screen when you open Minecraft. So Minecraft Forge is what you're going to need to install first. So once you've downloaded that from the link in the description, you're going to need to open it. Make sure you're opening it with a zip, a, a zip program. Select everything by con pre pressing Control A on your keyboard. Drag all of that into Minecraft.jar. And it sh might take a little while for it to all process through. Press OK. So while that's loading, we'll just the next thing we're going to need to install is the bombs in the API. So you can see just there, well, I've got it here. You'll need to select everything ag again, drag all of that into your Minecraft.jar again. It shouldn't take that long this time. And then finally, you're going to need to install the auto switcher mod. And this one's quite simple. It's just one file you need to drag over the bombs in. Drag that in, press OK, and you can quit out of these here now. So then you'll need to launch your Minecraft, click Login, and Minecraft Forge should download a few files and stuff to uh, finish the setup. But once that's done guys, that's the final step, and um, that's it. So once this has finished doing uh, Minecraft Forge has finished setting up and all that. I'm going to sh quickly show you what this mod actually does and how to actually use it. So we'll just wait for Minecraft Forge. It shouldn't take this long for you guys because you won't have um, the same s speed internet as me. My internet is extremely slow. So we'll just maximize this. 
and you can tell that your mods have installed correctly if um if you don't get a black screen if you do get a black screen it either means you've forgotten to install meta inf uh, forgotten to delete meta inf or you've um i don't know dragged in the wrong files and stuff or something like that or forgotten minecraft forge so we'll just generate our new world we'll quickly just go over what this mod actually does okay so we'll just quickly put ourselves on creative I've forgotten to put cheats on so, so we'll game mode ourselves one okay so we'll grab ourselves a few tools so we'll grab a pickaxe a shovel an axe a sword a bow and some arrows and we'll grab a few spawn eggs like uh, we'll grab a, pi a few pig eggs and we'll grab some zombie eggs okay so we might grab ourselves some armor as well So we'll just game mode ourselves once more. Okay, so first of all, to enable the mod, you're going to need to go F10 and then F10 once more, and that enables the mod. So you can see already that when I've got my pig egg in my hand and I click on that dirt there, it automatically switches to my shovel. As you can see, we did a quick transition in my hotbar. Um, it automatically will switch to my shovel and then if I go down a bit deeper and I find some stone I'm still on my pig egg but it's automatically switching to my pick straight away and that switches straight back to my shovel when I click on the dirt so it's a cool little thing it's very handy for when you're mining in a straight line and all of a sudden you come across some gravel or some dirt and you it's really annoying how you have to keep on switching to your shovel and so here's a chicken that has become my test subject and so I w I've got my pig in, egg in my hand and look closely at the hotbar I just switched to my sword and killed the chicken or if I've got my bow in my hand uh, um, and I'm shooting arrows at a player that's coming straight towards me he gets too close all of a sudden he's right there in front of me I can now just click on him and he's already been hit so I can fire an arrow then click on the wood click on the dirt and it's all switching between the uh, tools. So that's basically what this mod does. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found this helpful, be sure to share it and give it a like. If you guys want to um, see more of my videos like this one on my channel, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.